Hail and matches adventures, welcome to the world of Baldur's Gate 3. It's me, the Spot King, and I present to you my new fighter build. So today we're creating our fighter with Battle Master subclass. Okay, for our race, we're picking Kit Yankee. Today we're picking Kit Yankee for a few reasons. First of all, we get awesome kinship Misty Step on later levels, and we will use it a lot for today's build. Additionally, we get nice actions that will give you proficiency in all skills of chosen ability. For our fighting style, we begin great weapon fighting. When you're rolling one or two on a damage die with two-handed melee weapon, the die is rolled once. So basically you will get additional chances to inflict more damage when you're rolling dice and you will roll a lot with this build. So for our background guild artisan we're picking guild artisan, yeah, basically for insight and persuasion. And for our ability, skill proficiencies go for perception and athletics. So athletics will help us not get shoved and perception will give us ability to just find hidden details it's nice for like investigation and basically role playing this game so for our abilities we gaining this all-in strategy and we basically dumping dexterity intelligence and charisma and we gaining plus two into strange for a total of 17 and plus one into wisdom so we get it round it up this round it up wisdom will help us succeed in the lot of saving throws and we will round up our other stats later in the game so just like that our kitchanki is ready to go into the fight but first of all let's level up to level 3 to become battle master so in level 2 nothing special you get action search action and you basically gain in one more action on this turn you can do whatever action you like but most of the time you will use it to gain additional attack let's continue and we gain our level 3. So now we can finally pick our subclass. And we got additional race future. Get Yankee Psionic Jump. And you basically tripling our jumping distance. Our subclass will be Battle Master for today. And Battle Masters are paragons of a tactical superiority. Combining combat maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. You basically gain in this subclass future superiority dice. And you gain few dice. At the start it will be 4 dice and your superiority dice are d8s for now and then they become d10s and they fuel your battle master maneuvers and you're gaining these dice after short or long rest so as battle master we get access to a lot of maneuvers let's quickly take a look at them so commander strike will let your ally use the reaction to make a weapon attack it can be useful if you got some allies nearby and you want them to make additional attacks for you disarming attack is very nice and cool stuff so this will possibly force enemies to drop their weapons and you basically can steal these weapons that's why we're taking this one destructing strike is nice because uh, you will distract your target and your allies will have advantage on the next, next attacks, even attacks rolls against this target. It can be useful in some parties, we don't pick this one yet. Erase footwork, so you can use your dice to give disadvantage on melee attacks against you, we don't need it. Finting attack, you can use both your actions and bonus action on a turn to attack a target with advantage and deal additional 1d8 damage so this one is really nice stuff we can definitely pick it and we can pick three abilities three maneuvers coding attack will give disadvantage to a target maneuvering attack will give you additional damage and you will to a friendly creature additional movement speed so it's like kind of nice if you want to make battle master as like guy who stands in the front and command the battlefield about to be making how deadpool like gets yankee with another attacks so menacing attack can frighten your enemies precision attack instead of giving you advantage giving your ability to add superiority dice to your attack roll so it can be better in some situations than advantage sometimes not on later levels it's actually nice maneuver but at the first levels not very good maneuver so one pushing attack you can push your uh, creatures up to 4.5 meters with additional damage rally will give you temporary hit points i mean your ally reposta will give you ability to use your reaction so when someone misses you you can go and attack with your reaction with bonus damage and this won't really fit in our build today sweeping attack will give you ability to swing your weapon in a rapid sweeping and you will attack multiple enemies at once and you will roll your spirited die for damage so this could be good but you rolling your superiority die for damage that's not good because you got only one d8 superiority die 
It's like AOE ability, but we don't need it. And trip attack can make your target prone. That one is kind of nice. So disarming, have an advantage if targets uh, got high AC. Or triple attack to prone your targets. Very nice picks for our level 3 battle master. So let's go and see this dude in a battle. So as Gityanki, you want to start your day with astral knowledge and pick whatever check you like. So we can go into inventory and equipment to skills and you will see all skills and basically you can pick whatever skills you want to have proficient with. So with our build we are proficient with wisdom but not with every skill and if you want to be proficient with every skill just use wisdom or take intelligence, dexterity or charisma checks. Just like that. So for our build actually you want to use this big sword just for now. At first levels big swords is nice. But when you've advanced further into the game, you want to find pole arm, like some big halberd, pike or some other stuff, and have heavy armor, because so with heavy armor you will get far larger armor class. Because with medium armor right now, we're getting minus one armor from dexterity. So you definitely need these strong armors. But just right now, at early game, what you want to do is to actually know what so you got additional skills from your weapon. So you got rush attack if you don't have ability to travel to a target you can use this you can use psionic jump right now so this jump will increase our jumping distance and you actually want to use it before the battle if you see that battle is nearby because it lasts 10 turns but it uses action and you don't want to use action too much in the battle if you're not attacking someone so basically what you can do you can make just basic attack with 4 to 13 damage with main hand attack but if you use your superiority dice which is like 4 superiority dice you have you can use this fainting attack disarming attack and trip attack and you can use it as with melee same as range weapon but we're going for our strange build so we're using only melee weapons and they will do from 5 to 21 damage so let's just go and choose this fainting attack but keep in mind while you're getting this advantage you're losing your bonus action so fainting attack uses action and bonus action in one turn but it's like highest chance to hit and very nice strong damage so let me show you is this early damage to you and we're rolling our damage roll 1d10 from our big sword we add in our strange modifier and we add in additional 1d8 slashing damage but this comes from superiority die and if you see any enemies nearby you can use your action search to add your actions and attack one more time so for example like in this situation we're going to use our superiority die again or maybe just use disarming strike so we try to disarm this imp with our superiority die so he just dropped his weapon and it's on the floor as you can see this hand axe on the floor and we can use pommel strike as our bonus action to make enemy dazed and reduce their armor class very nice ability too but if we want to kill this imp we actually want to use action to search we use it we like get in one more action and you can use your fainting attack again or other strikes just like that you're just crazy cool dude that doing large amount of damage at this stage of the game so let's level up more and finish our build so level 4 beta master we're getting additional feet and i assume that you find your gear you will find your heavy armor and big stuff and what we want for this dude right now we want Paul arm master and this gives us ability when we're attacking with uh, glaive halberd water stuff or spear so basically we want one of these weapons we can use bonus section to attack with the butt of our weapon for a nice additional damage and also we can make opportunity attacks when target comes within range just like that we go into our level 5 and that's where our build actually starting to go and roll out so we're gaining this extra attack future so now we can do two attacks in one turn and we're getting our misty step from Gityanki. so i guess before i tell you what we do on level six i just explain you <laughs> what you want to do in a fight at level five <laughs> so basically what you want to do at fight at level five you want to start your fight with your glaive and most of the time this like melee fighters don't have nice ability to move on battlefield and pick like best place but for now we get this misty step as bonus section so basically you can start your fight for example by standing over here and all your teammates over here too and you're basically going and putting yourself with misty step like to this area for example like over here and now you just 
standing over here with big pole arm, big half bird, big spear, and not letting everyone, every enemy to pass beside you. So you just like crazy guardian with big spear. This idea of the build. Be like crazy like Deadpool. So let's go and continue. And now we get additional feet. And to finish up our build, actually, we use Sentinel. So Sentinel gives us ability to use reaction to make weapon attack when someone attacks Ali. And we gain an advantage on opportunity attacks. So basically, we use an our pole arm master as opportunity attacks when someone coming into range and sentinel will even advance this feat so it give opportunity attack advantage and basically we will hit a lot of time when using these reactions and coolest part when we hit a creature with opportunity attack it can no longer move for the rest of its turn and that's how build works so basically we go in into the like middle of the fight and we starting to use our maneuvers while every enemy that come in close just being attacked by our reactions and bonus actions so on level 7 we get an additional prosperity die and we can pick additional two maneuvers so just in case we need we can use pushing attack sometimes we need to push enemies and precision attack maybe we need this stable addition to our attack rolls let's go our level 8 battle master gaining additional feet and now we finally can round up our ability scores and add plus one into strange and plus one into con and became a lot more stronger right now so let's continue to level 9 we get additional class future and we will succeed saving throws more often just like that we continue and we are level 10 and we get additional subclass future the size of our superiority dice finally increased to 1 d10 and we get additional two maneuvers you can pick whatever you like our build is ready i recommend using maneuvering attack to increase uh, speed of our allies sometimes or even our allies summons and maybe distracting strike you can use it or even evasive footwork is nice too but most of the time we will use like our previous maneuvers so on level 11 we get improved extra attack so we're getting two additional attacks right now and on level 12 we're get an additional feat so for this feat we can pick one of the two we can go for great weapon master and when we land in a critical hit or kill target with melee weapon attack we can make another melee weapon attack as bonus action so it's nice and useful stuff but it's like situational but attacks with heavy melee weapons we are proficient with and we are proficient with Every heavy million weapon basically can deal additional 10 damage at the cost of minus 5 to attack roll penalty. And because we got a lot of dices that give us proficiency and other stuff and advantages in our rolls, we can definitely use this feat to have stable plus 10 damage to our attack rolls and become like a crazy damage dealer. But we can have more stable stuff and just add plus two into strange, depending on what you like more. But just for fun, we're picking great weapon master. So at the start of this fight, we're basically using our misty step to pick like best position possible. And then we just can go and attack our targets. And as you can see, we get only 30% to attack this dude because he got uh, pretty high AC. But if you want to have higher chances, we can finally use our precision attack. So let's use this precision attack and now our chances is 55 percent and don't forget we got minus five to attack rolls from our great weapon master so funniest part we can do in the battle is actually going and attacking these big guys with nice weapons with our disarming attack we got five superiority dice so we can use this precision attack on ourselves to have better chances of hitting this dude don't forget we got minus five to attack rolls from great weapon master that's why it's like situational law feet and maybe just go straight for 20 strange so we try to use this disarming attack let's do it but he saved he saved from this let's try to attack even one more time let's do it sadly we missed let's just go and use our normal attack sadly we missed again let's use our action surge and now we can do one more attack and we can even use one more superiority die to use the disarming attack one more time maybe we will succeed no we don't so let's use again superiority die and maybe we just use one more disarming attack it's, it's basically what you're doing as this battle master so we can use a lot of cool attacks and spells so let's end our turn and as you can see this commander Jal just attacked mind flare and we can use our sentinel reaction to just go and counter attack him and that simple counterattack made 10 damage, but, but we rolled 1d10 from our sword 
we added plus 4 strength, so it's like 10, and then we added 10 for Great Weapon Master. So we're making 20 damage with one attack, but he got resistance, that's why we attacked only for 10 damage. So let's use this disarming attack. And finally, we got this dropped weapon. So as your action, you can go and pick this weapon up, and just like that, you can equip it from the start of the game. So, yeah, we just stole his weapon, and now we can attack him with his weapon. And I guess you, you want to see what you can do actually with other stuff. So we got disarming strike, and we got uh, fainting attack to attack with advantage. So our basic attack going to make 55%, and fainting attack will make 80% chance to hit him. Just like that. Easy pity. <laughs> and damage is really crazy too. And last but not least, maneuvering attack. So our maneuvering attack can attack our target, for example. And after this attack, you get this force maneuver on the right side, so don't miss it. And you can use it to give us our ally additional movement speed after this successful attack. So our action surges give us ability to attack just large amount of time, and that's actually crazy. So don't forget to find your heavy armor and nice bike or half belt. And I hope you will enjoy this battle master build on your playthrough. Go watch other cool videos on the screen right now, and see you in the next video, guys.